So, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. And we are back, Richie, with a, another video. So, what is it that we are going to do today? So, we're going to be opening up a Darkness of Blaze Elite Trainer Box, or ETB for short. Uh, they come with pretty much everything you need to get the set started in the box. Dice, yep. uh, a book to see what cards are in the set, eight packs, and it's just quite a handy box, actually. I keep all my cards in my bulk. That I get from a set, I keep it in that box. So, how much are they averaging retail wise? Normally about forty pounds. Depending on you get, yeah, sometimes forty two, sometimes a little bit under. Amazon, local shops, most places you can get them from. So, yeah. So yeah, so I think the main objective today is we want to find out whether we feel that this is worth it, you know, so because you could spend £40, you could buy, you know, 10 packs of boosters, right? So you mainly want to buy one of these once, you get your dice, or you can get your dice elsewhere in your sleeves. But I think the main objective is, is it worth it? I think that's on a lot of people's minds. They look good, they look yeah, great. That's are right. they generally worth it? So we will go over into the next part of the video and we'll get this bad boy opened. See you in the next bit. So let's get this open, if I can get into it. So, what do you think? Oh, there's the book. There it is. One star. Out of obviously, we've had some uh, bad history with some ETBs before. But what? Yeah. What are your general impressions of them? What was it when you, when you first got into Pokemon? Was it one of the first things you thought? Do you know what I want to get that? Was that something that people hinted at you to do? Or yeah, actually, I um I saw my local card shop. He put a little post up on Facebook said ETBs now in stock, Cosmic Eclipse, that's what I got back into, that was the first set I got back into, um, before that I was just, you know, old, base set, here and there sort of thing, but yeah, so the Cosmic Eclipse, which is fairly recent, um, ETB really got me back into this actually, I just like the design of them, you know, they're good functionality, you know, keep cards in them, well designed, well packaged, so, and also the pull rate can be a bit higher, that's what they say. Fingers crossed, we're still so waiting for that know. Charizard. We're still waiting for that Charizard. We're almost up to a week since it came out. So, oh, you never know, it could be in it, it could be in it. Right, so we have the player's guide that comes out of it as well. Yeah. Uh, we also have the Pokemon trading card game rules. So for anyone that you know wants to brush up on what to do, they've got in there how to become a Pokemon master. It's got all the different types of uh, Pokemon that are in there, rest in peace fairy, as they no longer exist, so while they're still in the book, I actually have no idea. <laughs> Someone needs to update that, I think. Yeah. So yeah, it just basically shows you like the standard format of how to play, um, what you do on the turn. That's pretty cool, you know, if I was starting out, I think that would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, so what else do we have here? So we have some dice, pretty funky colors. Yeah. Um, I think with the numbers as well, I think they're perfect. Um, especially with the VMAX cards now, the, the damage can be absolutely insane. Yeah. Um, this one, by the looks of it, goes up to 180. So a lot of them do go over 300, so racking up that many dice is um, can be a lot. So if you've got a few of them, it just, you know, it adds it on. We have the poison and burn counters, so they're really, really handy. Especially if you have Pokemon that, you know, poison or burn damage. Just something extra to add into the game anyway. We have sleeves. Oh yeah, of course, sleeves. Keep your cards protected at all times. They're pretty cool. I actually quite like the look of them. Yeah, I they're good. I wasn't so keen on the, um, the last set, but you know, they're okay. <laughs> we have a nice pack, pack of energy. They're not just fire. I'll, I'll just put that out. There is a mix. I'm not gonna open them up. Um, might even give them away, why not? We've got loads as it is. Uh, we also have dividers. Yes, they're good. Like I said, if you're keeping your cards in these boxes, these dividers, you know, if you even split between Pokemon types, trainers, even if you've got a couple of different sets that you want to keep divided, they're handy, they're perfect. Absolutely, and we have the eight packs. There we go. So you get all of this for rough, so we say we'll call it around 40 pounds. Yeah. I think for a beginner, I think these are ideal. Yeah. Especially if you're getting into them, I think they are absolutely perfect. Really, um, you know, you've, you've got everything that you need. You know, there isn't much more, and I wouldn't necessarily say. Um, is there anything else? You, you know, if you had to design your own ETB, then, do you know what? Is there anything else you would put in there? Uh, no, I think they've got the nail on heads. Everything you need to get started. Yep. Rule book, energy, eight packs. You can probably build a deck from that. Um, well, you definitely can, pretty much. Card protecting sleeves. So if you do get the Charizard or a good VMAX or Might have to put another good card or even the gold card, 
sleeve it up straight away, even provide you with them. And of course, it's like the theme. So we've got Eternity. Absolutely. You know. So like if you're building a deck specifically for, say, Darkness of Blaze, you could just use the Darkness of Blaze sleeves. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, so let's get into the pack. Let's see how we're doing. I'll tell you what, we'll do one each. Yeah? Yeah, why not? Cool. And we'll go from there. Let's see if we can get any, any magic. Mm. What would it be? Imagine pulling that Charizard. Oh, imagine pulling that. Let's get rid of that. So. What we got to Let's go Psychic. I'm gonna go Fire. Ooh, Ooh. Lightning Energy. So, Simiseer, Lunatone, Star Aviar, Trapinch, Jigglypuff, Ducklet, Carablast, Galarian Daramuka, Dino Reverse Hollow, and. One of the original. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> That is the most chilled card I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty chill there, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, definitely. So we'll take that Dino Reverse Hollow, yeah. add that into the collection. But you pull the white one, I can just do it. Oh, oh green, man. we're coming. Oh. What do you call him? Water. Fire. Oh, fighting. fighting Combuskin, the fire chicken. Staravia. As well as Electrike, Fletchling, Galarian Mr. Mine, Torchic, the other fire chicken, Aron, Steenie, and a Del Catty. Catty. Oh, yeah. well, not too bad, there. not too bad. Two packs in, two packs in. So you got to look at these. That's it. So let's quickly move them around. Right, pack number three. Oh, there's a card not in place. Oh, that was weird. Couldn't get in. Hopefully, I've not bent a decent one. Imagine. Oh my lord, could you imagine? It'd be my luck as well. It's a like, <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, oh isn't that such a relief? It is, but if I've just bent the decent card, oh. I'm going to be in a world of trouble. Well, when you see that white <laughs> code card. Well, in Pokemon, it started right, started white, wasn't it? I think started that's... right, started <laughs> white, that's it. What do we want to go for then? Let's go for grass energy. Grass. Oh, you go fire. Oh, Ooh. Nice come on, come on, shall we? Here we go then. What we okay. got? Okay, Spike Muff, trainer, Keep of Toughness, double trainer to start off. Vibrava, Shelmet, Pan Paw, Teddy Rusa, Rookedy, Torchic, Reverse Hollow, Vat. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling this. And... Oh yes, <laughs> come on, I got... there. I've not got it. <laughs> Uh, do you know what's even more annoying? I saw the bottom of the card, I saw it was fire, I thought, oh, oh no oh, way. No. I'm still it. very chuffed with this. I've okay. not, uh, I've only pulled one fire um, V card, so that is really, really good. So that's a perfect collection. So let's get that sleeved. I'll just move these out of the way and then you can get on to the next one. If you don't mind. Of course. Okay, fire on the I struggle with the rest of the limbs. Whilst Richie is getting there, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, as it genuinely does mean the world to us. We love interacting with everyone here and we just want to put out content. If there's anything that you want us to open, we're quite willing to open it if we can get our hands on it. Yeah. Um, with any luck, we might be able to get ourselves on Champion's Path. Who knows? Who knows? You know, but it might be something to come look forward back to when it comes out anyway. Yes, we're certainly looking forward to it. So, What are you going for? I will go for Steel. Uh, I'll go Fighting. I don't really go. Ooh, Psychic. Oh, Psychic. That's my favourite. My brother. Gotharita. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. That's a mouthful, isn't it? That is. <laughs> <laughs> Marini. <laughs> Torchic. Starly. Skamori. Pansage. Grimer. Reaching out to us, and that's oh, sweet oh. holographic. I think it looks smart. It looks smart. Yeah. I wish it was a V card, but I will still take it as it is. It's a hollow. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. let's put that in the pile. Mm -hmm. How many have we left? Four. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. And three. Okay, so we have one, two, three, and four. Oh, I'm gonna go lightning energy. Psychic. Steel. So, Glimwood Tangle. I actually really like that. It just takes me back to the, um, the Nintendo Switch game every single time. 
I just love the colors. Anyway, I'm waffling, <laughs> but I deserve it. I like it, I like it. Uh, layer on, powder sect, wishy-washy, pan sage, toros, digalit, squavet, reverse hollow ferret, and diggersby. How are you I'm not sure, we'll find out in a minute. Cool. Yeah. Three to go. Three to not go. doing too bad. We've, we've put ourselves to V card already. I'm pretty yeah. happy with that in the hollow. Absolutely. Green. Mm, another green well, one. Last pack magic. I feel it. I feel it. We've got two more to go. So this, uh, we're going to go for. I'll go water. I'll go lightning. Oh, well done. Simi Sage. Billowing smoke. Turbo patch. Skitty. Dino. Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Clink, Fletchling, and a Mimikyu. Fletchling yeah. seems to be very common with Reverse Hollow. Oh really? Is this something you've noticed? Yes, I have like six already. <laughs> <laughs> um, but maybe that is the card that, you know, it's just part in every set that's you know easier because there's going to be those that you get like one in ten, one in a hundred, one in two hundred and fifty probably Charizard or something like that. Yeah. Right. Get into here. Green? Oh, another green. It's last pack magic, I'm feeling it's gotta it. Gotta be. Gotta be. I'm going grass. I've been fighting energy. Oh, darling. Urusing. We won't say that one. <laughs> Combuskin. Fletching. Go, yeah. Galarian Mr. Mime. Tutik. Aron. Rook Idin. Reverse Hollow is the Welly Off, and I needed that. Needed that card. Chuffed. Sit. I'll take it. I'll take it. All good for your collection. Though. Absolutely. No. no matter what you get, you might be disappointed that you ain't pulled the V card, but you know, if you're filling out your collection, I'm not getting there. there. I'm slowly getting there. I think, oh, oh. We end with a green. Okay. One, two, three, and four. We go four. Can I go get grass again? I'll go lightning. Three. Grass yeah, boy. Then we got Powerful Energy, Toxapex, Clang, Ooh, hello, Squirtet, Spinarak, Lavesta. Do you know what this reminds me of? Have you watched Big Daddy with Adam Sandler? Yes. And the guy's going, hip hop, hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> got that. Ooh, Ooh uh, that's Reverse Hollow Red. I'll take that. Manic Trick and a Hydreon. Hydreon. Yeah. Which actually a good card. Yes, and is also Good the uh, promo cards in the pre-release sets. Yes, indeed. So I'll just go over quickly what we managed to pull in that itself. I'll move these to one side for those to come on. with. So all the hollows and reverse hollows. So we've got a few. We have a few. We did only get one. Um, sorry, V card from that, and one actual hollow. So all in all, uh, it's the same. So. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, I always try, I think I probably said it in one of the other videos, I always think, you know, you're going to pull probably a V card, one every four maybe, but then of course you've got the hollow, which could have been a V card, so not too bad. And you never know, that could be a hard one to pull. Absolutely, it could be, absolutely. There's some holographic cards that are hard to pull. You so know, what do you all think? Do you think it's a oh, great set of pulls? <laughs> Glass fell over. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was okay. I think the contents of what you get in an ETB is probably definitely worth it. Would I buy multiple of them every set? Probably not, is my honest answer. No. Unless they had, say like, um, in Sword and Shield, when they brought out Zamazenta and Zacian ones. Oh, of course, yeah, like the double. Yeah, because you've got different blue. things in there, so you've had different dice, you've had different sleeves, for example. Yeah. Whether there was a you know higher percentage chance of getting a, a Zacian or Zamazenta from them, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think generally it was worth, what do you think? What's your thoughts? I think they're worth the money. I mean, you're getting eight packs, so that's nearly 40 quid. Uh, and then the extra bits you get with it, to keep the bits in, to keep the cards, hmm. something to get to start the set, keep your bulk in. Absolutely. And your sleeves, of course. And absolutely ideal for anyone else to start. So if you are genuinely new to Pokemon, you just happen to find the channel and you think, how, you know, how do I get into it? I would probably say I would highly recommend getting an ETB. Um, because, you, you know, I mean, you might not pull some of these, you might pull even more, you know, there is that chance. Definitely. Um, but yeah, like, like Richie said, you've got a good chance to start building up the bulk and stuff like that and then fill out your collection. But yeah, 
So what are we going to open up in our next video? Uh, if we remember the last video we done, uh, the celebration packs. Yes. Going to get some more of those. Opening up the double packs, that's the Darkest Blaze and Rebel Clash. Be like blister sort of style packs. We're going to open up some of those um, and see what we get from them. Hopefully we get a good pull. Charizard still, still out there. He's still, still out there. there. Do you know what? Eluding us. When will we pull it? I can't imagine we're not going to, surely. <sighs> about the potential that, you know, or the, you know, the amount that we can open now, well, it's got to be, surely. Is it? Fingers crossed. Keep tuned. Absolutely. And one more time, if you haven't already, please hit that like button, please hit the notification uh, bell and hit subscribe for us. Um, so obviously you get alerted when the new video's in. And you know, if there's, like I said already, if there is anything else you would like us to you know, open, because we, we were thinking about opening up all, all sorts of things, whether it was- Dragon Majesty. Absolutely. Lots of other bits and bobs. Can't even list them. Yeah, yeah, there's so many. Lots of other sets, other box, you know, promo boxes. Anything. Yeah. Want to get our hands on it all and give you guys a treat. Yeah. Show you what's happening. Maybe out there. even a base set at some point. Well, that's exciting. That is indeed. Right, anyway, we'll see you all in the next video.